Hello, John here, doing a, what's probably going to be a rather haphazard production. Uh, no script, just straight into this. Uh, so a quick explanation of auto scan and scan and uh, what it can do for you. Well, this is the waterfall image I've created on uh, in Jaguar. Uh, normally you get this screen when you um, play back any file. If I press E, the E key on the keyboard, it uh, switches to waterfall. How do you get the waterfall? Well, if you click this little button here, it says S, you get this window. Um, I want to point out what version I'm using. I don't know what version I'm What version am I using? I don't know. What version am I using? How do I work it out? I can't remember. So many things in Jaguar. It's it's so good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, Yes, nobody uses every feature, I'm sure of that. Uh, here we are. We're in, uh, currently in version 2020.01.28. So I'm a little bit behind uh, speed here. So um, hopefully this is what you'll see. Auto scan. Make sure that little box there is checked. Medium wave 10, that will record waterfalls for every 10 kilohertz spacing. That medium wave 9 for every 9 kilohertz. And of course your VFO. Uh, I choose medium wave 10 overnight for North America, recording 2000 to 2000, speed 10. Um, this bit at the bottom here is your manual scan. Works in the same way as the auto scan. As it says in the, uh, the word, it's an automatic scan and that will scan all the frequencies at 10 kilohertz intervals throughout your recording period. And this is the manual scan uh, with which, uh, if you haven't used the auto scan overnight, you can use this manual scan and do exactly the same thing. I hope that is clear from that. So let me just press play here. I'll give you an example of what you can do with a waterfall. Uh, this is 1318 yesterday morning. Red splodge here. Look at that nice red splodge. That says, oh, there's a bit of audio there. And there it is. And uh, right near two stations there. That was CKPC, and that was crossing there, put out another station there, that's probably... I did hear this earlier, it sounds like sports, I guess that's WABH, which I think is more or less, that's where WABH is very roughly, these offsets are of course approximate, stations do drift a little. Um, Right, what else to show you? Um, I don't know if this is a quick example. Yeah, I do. I got yesterday morning 1590 WGBW Denmark, Wisconsin. That could You can see where the signal fades in. You see the peaks of audio represented by um, the yellows and the oranges. Low signal here, this was recorded on a short coverage channel. That's WGBW Denmark, Wisconsin. Um, So you can see the stronger peaks of the signal where it turns red and where there's nothing, well, don't bother listening, saves you a lot of time. So you can see where the signals are and, and also where they aren't. Hopefully that's a, a, a suitable explanation of auto scan. It's a bit quick, as I say, not prepared, but I hope it serves uh, some use. Uh, any questions, please get in touch. I'll be happy to help if I can. Bye for now.